So here's the pond. You can still still leaking, but this is actually really nice because I have I used to never have water in here. So this part here is sealed. So probably it's leaking up under these rocks here maybe. This is concrete, so it can't really be leaking here. Um, you can see here's all the, the crushed clay. And I could go to a place like this here, right, and just push it into this hole, just like that. So now I can go around the clay that I have and start sealing any cracks and stuff. But you can see that it's holding the water. There's dirt here, so I don't know if this dirt's porous or not. It may be because I have plants planted here. I wanted some plants in here. Um, but I'm actually really happy. And I think it's leaking under there. You can see kind of the, the crack. Let me show you. So, like right in here. You know, there's definitely is a hole there. But look at this nice clay. Maybe I can just take this clay off here. Anywhere where I see crack, I can probably take this, this solid piece of clay and just push it, break it, push it into the cracks. Right, like that. But it's a great particles I have. And that's what I'm going to do um, all around the edge, wherever I see little cracks. Push the clay, fill it up again. And um, see what happens. Let's see some concrete here, like right, maybe like right in there. I also um, getting this space ready to grow food. I'm probably going to grow some food in here. In that one section. I got lots of gear, and I really need I put need a, more space, which I'm thinking about building. I'm gonna build because these are expensive. Um, maybe find some old lumber at my father-in-law's house, which I know he has, and I'll build something here, which I want. It's gonna go. The roof is just gonna go under there, and this is gonna be for the chicken run anyway. So I might build this out here, something here. This is found as permaculture. Design as you go because I wouldn't be thinking of building a cover here until I put these two sheds to know that I need more space. And if I would have designed this out for something else or originally I was actually gonna put beds and stuff in here, that was my initial design, it was wrong. So that's why it's really important to basically design as you go. And don't get hung up on, on a predetermined perm permaculture design. It doesn't work, in my opinion. Now, that's just my opinion. That's why I call it found up permaculture. It's incremental design sprints. You design little projects at a time, and as these projects manifest, then new projects develop themselves. It's really simple. This is the Found Up Food Truck. Hopefully, I'm gonna be selling Found Up Food at the beach and stuff, and I put in a collapsible table. I have this set up. Um, this is my battery pack in here. Show you this real quick. All right, I'm gonna put another battery in here. So actually I'm gonna have four batteries. Another little battery, one, two, and there's two under here. That's four batteries in series. Um, added this little fan, added to this, this table. It basically folds up, right? It opens up if you've seen the videos on that. Um, just real quick, here's the power supply. All that's under there. Um, here is the Basically the MPPT, the battery's pretty much fully charged, right there. I have it sideways so I can read it and also gives it more surface area, cooling. I added rack, this is actually a chair, I'll show you this. I wanted, I've got two of these, I've got, I've got one already up there with my boards. Um, unfortunately I thought I could fit two up here, I may be able to, it was dark last night, but I think I probably will be able to fit two up here, like uh, basically uh, back to back. But that's basically a little, little bench, 
little bench for people to sit on. 